Prince William turned to Prince Philip and asked him for his advice and wise counsel over his decision to split from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Prince William knew the time was right to part ways from his brother but was concerned about how it would look in the public eye. The Duke of Cambridge called Prince Philip and asked him for advice because he values his wise counsel. Prince William also wanted to be reassured Prince Harry would be supported by Buckingham Palace. It is not yet known exactly what was discussed by the pair after their call was revealed by the Daily Mail. But on Thursday, it was announced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would be moving their entire staff and offices to be with the Queen at Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace said in a statement, The Queen has agreed to the creation of a new household for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, following their marriage in May last year. The household which will be created with the support of the Queen and the Prince of Wales, will be established in the spring. The Duke of Sussex currently has his own private office, which has been supporting the Duchess since their Royal Highness's engagement in November 2017. This long-planned move will ensure that permanent support arrangements for the Duke and Duchess's work are in place as they start their family and move to their official residence at Frogmore Cottage. The pair will be cutting all ties with Kensington Palace where Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge both live and work. The royal couple are likely to start operations at Buckingham Palace after Meghan gives birth to their first child in just a few weeks' time. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have appointed PR guru and former Clinton adviser Sir Latham as their head of communications. Royal aides have crushed rumors that the shakeup is down to a rift between the royals following mounting reports there had been difficulties between them. They are adamant the move was always due to take place because of William's future role as the Prince of Wales and then King. Both the Queen and Prince Charles have also made it clear it would be better if the two royal households went their own way sooner rather than later. A source said, it's about placing the two dukes on a permanent footing that ensures changes aren't needed again when Charles accedes to the throne and William becomes Prince of Wales.